welcome to the Scuba Made YouTube channel. Well, back to the Sylvia, and uh, I've got this big shower cap on it. Literally, it's just a shower cap. Like, it's it's um, super thin. It's got a little bit of elastic around it. Yeah, big shower cap on the Sylvia. But if you look, I cleaned it, and it's still pretty shiny underneath. Whereas it normally just sits here and gets mega dusty. Anyway, what we're doing today is you might be able to see there the uh, tires popped off the um, rim here again. So I'm going to be getting my bead blaster out and trying to pop that back on. So first I'm going to try and do it on the car. If that doesn't work, I'm going to take it off and then do it on the ground. So I've got the uh, thing, I got this off eBay for about 80 bucks, I think. Just a big, big bead blaster, I call it. It's probably sort of meant for trucks and things, but works to get tires on. I didn't need it on fitting these up luckily, but that one's a bit bigger. It's actually a 245, I think 40 profile tire on an 11 and a half inch wide rim. So it's a bit of a stretch. So this is as simple as making sure that valve's closed. This valve needs to be open. You plug your air hose straight in and then just wait for that gauge to fill up. Okay, while that's happening, I'm just gonna go and put a bit of uh, soap on the tire. Okay, now close that valve. You can put the compressor's going in now, but pop that off. This leaks a bit. I should probably try and fix that. Anyway, before it all leaks out, let's get it over to the car and uh, try and get this tire back on. So. This is attempt one. Hopefully it works. All right, let me just line it up like that. Just let open the handle as quick as you can. Let her rip. Didn't work. We'll probably have to take the, uh, the rim off and try again. Well, as you can see now, the tire is back on. Um, I even put tire shine on it. I was just going to show, this is an 11 and a half inch rim with a 245. This, and these, this is, a, they're, they're a set. That's a nine and a half inch rim with a 225 on it. So, 225, 245, nine and a half, 11 and a half. So, pretty big difference there. <laughs> anyway. These, these wheels haven't been on the front of my Sylvia for probably a year and a half now. Um, yeah, I took them off a little while ago and haven't, I'd only just fitted the new tires. So this one actually, I, it was low, like I guess it leaks a little bit. Someone's in it. Anyway, and um, when, I, when I pulled it out and just drove it a little bit, it popped off the bead because it didn't have enough air in it. So. I've just got to make sure it's all pumped up before I drive it. This tire's not going to be on there much longer. Um, whenever I can get some new tires for it, I probably should. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, for now, we'll pop it back on the car, see how she looks, and uh, yeah, that's fixed. And that, it's easy to use, this little eBay machine. It comes in pretty handy. So, yeah. Oh, and I, I was going to mention too, I um, have got this little bit. It screws onto your valve there and it allows you to put your air hose straight in. Like, it just puts air straight into the tire and then when you pop it on, it, it keeps putting air in to pump it up. So that little bit is pretty handy as well. Okay, she's all back together now. Sitting beautifully in that guard. Oh yeah. Alrighty, uh, I think that'll conclude the video. Just a short video showing you how I popped the wheel, the tire back on with my little bead blaster. And uh, yeah, I just needed to fix that little problem. So thought I'd film it and make a video about it. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and uh, stay tuned for more 
video, subscribe if you like, share if you want, and uh, leave a comment if you'd like, and all that. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.